Well, hey, this is Dan Grissom. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to basically get your uh, in development environment set up for uh, Python. Specifically, we're going to use Python version 2.7. Uh, make sure not to download the newest version 3.0. It won't be compatible with the source files we're using. And then I'll show you how to basically um, run a Python project, specifically the Pac-Man projects that we'll be using, and uh, just run a few commands there. Okay, so the first thing uh, you need is most of you guys will probably already have a version of Eclipse installed. I have the newest version as of uh, September 2015, which is Eclipse Mars although it's probably okay to have a, a few versions older. Um, but other than that, I don't have anything installed that you'll need. I just have Eclipse. Um, you can use a different e editor if you'd like, but uh, Eclipse is pretty good. Most everyone already has it. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and open up a new search page and just uh, search for Python in Google, and you'll come up to python.org, click the Downloads page. Okay, Go ahead and just click Python 2.7. Okay, so I'll click download there and it will go ahead and download uh, whatever version I need in particular. If you want, you can click 2.7.10 down here and then it should take you to a page that has all of the, the different versions, whether you're using Mac or Windows or, or something else. Um, but it should probably go ahead and <clears throat> just automatically uh, detect your operating system. So I'll go ahead and, and run this. There it is. Okay, yeah, it's copied over now. Um, so I'll go ahead and try and run it here. Okay, so just go ahead and install it. Um, default directory should be fine. And I'm just gonna kind of leave it like it is. And click finish. Okay, so you'll know it's installed. You can come over and uh, click on your start menu. I'm using Windows 10, so I'm just going to click all apps and just scroll down to your Python section. You'll see I have Python 2.7, and then I can click on Python command line. And this is actually um, a way to run Python code. So I'm just going to say something like this print hello Python world. Okay, and then you'll see that it will actually output that. Okay, so I could actually run uh, real Python code here. Uh, maybe something like this, variable equals five plus six, and then print var. You'll see that it prints out 11. So we're actually running Python code. So let's just kind of show you that it's installed. So the next thing I want to do is actually go and add a plugin to my Eclipse editor. Um, so I can actually, <clears throat> compile and, and run Python code through Eclipse. So go ahead and just open up Eclipse to whatever workspace you're working on. Uh, click help and then the easiest way to do this is just to go to the Eclipse marketplace. Once you're there and it kind of loads up, um, just type in the, the finder, you can type pydev. Just hit enter and it'll come up with pydev. Uh, right now it looks like Eclipse 4.3.0 is the latest version. So I'll go ahead and just click install there and we'll walk through um, the installation process. I'll just leave everything checked there, although I don't think you really need this MyLen integration. Accept the terms and click finish. Do you trust these certificates? Sure. Okay. You will need to restart Eclipse for the changes to take place. So yeah, okay. So I'll go ahead and restart just to kind of get things um, moving there. And while that's happening, I'm gonna go to Sakai. Okay. 
So go ahead and jump on Sakai and click once you're into your uh, CS430 artificial intelligence. Go ahead and click on the assignments tab. Okay, um, you should see project one there. So if I click on that, uh, you'll see a whole bunch of files. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and download the um, project description, this first link. Okay, I'll actually download. Just do it to my desktop. Okay, I'm going to do the same for the zip file. And then I'm going to do the same for um, this bash pacman project commands. Okay. All right, so um, now that I have that, let me just go ahead and minimize this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my desktop and I have my zip file, I'll just go ahead and extract this. So you can say something like this, um, open with or send to, yeah, let's just actually just double click on it. It'll bring up with uh, um, either some kind of third party um, explorer like 7-Zip or your Windows Explorer. Go ahead and just drag that out to your desktop for now. You can put it wherever you like, uh, but you'll see I basically have this search folder that has all these Python files in it. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of use this as my default workspace. Now again, you may want to um, Pac-Man Project One search or something like that. You may want to you know move this somewhere that kind of lines up with where you keep your source code. But now I'm basically going to go and click on Switch Workspace Other. Okay, now before we before we switch workspaces, uh, there's one last thing I want to do. I want to essentially make the actual workspace folder and use this Pac-Man project uh, that has all our code, this, this kind of folder right here, as our actual project folder. Okay, so I'm going to just right click on my desktop for now and say PyDev projects or something like that. Okay, and this will be my workspace. So I'll go ahead and take uh, my folder that has all the code in it and place it in there. Okay, so you'll see if I open that up, I have Pac-Man project one search and then I have uh, all my code in there. Okay, so I'll close that, and um, then I'll go ahead and just browse to that directory. So for me, it's on the desktop, and then I have PyDev Projects. So th again, this is going to be PyDev Projects will be my workspace. So I'll click OK. This will bring up a kind of fresh workspace, the welcome. So I'll go ahead and close that. Okay, now before I try and add a project, um, I need to set up the interpreter properly. Okay, so I'm going to click on Window and click on Preferences. Now, if you restarted your computer, um, this may be kind of done automatically for you, but in my case, it wasn't. So go ahead down, you'll see PyDev, click on that, and then go until you see Interpreters, click on that, and then click on Python Interpreter. You'll see it will probably 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 be empty if it's not maybe you're already set up but if it is empty go ahead and just click new okay then you can uh, just say Python 2.7 or something like that on your interpreter executable go ahead and click browse and basically we're just gonna find our uh, Python executable okay so if you kind of followed us through the installation it's just in the C drive and it's probably in Python 27 just click on python.exe and then click open once I hit OK, you'll see it'll load a bunch of different libraries. Just click OK and click OK again. Okay, now that I've done this, uh, I can actually create a new project. So I'm going to click New, click Project. Okay, then click on PyDev right there, and then PyDev Project. Click Next. Okay, now I'm going to um, create a project name. So I basically need this to be the exact same name as. Um, as the the folder in my workspace okay so I'm gonna go to my desktop and grab the name of that folder which is Pac-Man project one search in my case so let me oops let me go ahead and copy that name and then I will paste it into there okay you'll notice that as soon as I type in the, the exact name it'll say project location contains ex existing Python files which is what we want we basically want to create a project um, that has basically just imports everything Okay, so I'll just click finish, leave everything else the same. Um, do make sure that you have grammar version 2.7 selected. Um, you can say, remember my decision, and click yes. Okay, all right, so now we actually have a Pac-Man project running. 
Okay, so I can, um, if I just want to kind of get it running, what I would do is double click this pacman.py, just click OK to that message. And um, Fabio wants us to donate some money to his PyDev, I think, so you can read it or show later, whatever you want to do. Um, but at this point, you can simply, again, make sure pacman.py is selected. This is kind of the main um, game. Um, go ahead and just click play, and then click Python run, click OK and you'll see that Pac-Man will come up. So I can actually play the game now. Okay, so anyway, you see that the code is working, that Python is properly installed. You see the ghosts aren't too smart. So I can close that up now. All right, um, if I want, um, I can also run this stuff on the uh, command line. Okay, so whether you're using Mac or Linux or Windows, we can pretty much do the same thing. So um, now notice I'm going to open up the project, and if I kind of let's see view the mode, if I scroll down to uh, Welcome to Pac-Man, you'll see that <clears throat> kind of gives me some basic uh, tests to run. I'm going to show you how to basically run these from the command line, as as well as also add these. Uh, command line parameters into Eclipse. Okay, so what I want to do now is I'm just going to minimize this and I'm going to open up command prompt. Okay, and then I'm going to navigate to uh, my folder right here where, where my Python files are. So again, it's going to be um, into <clears throat> this directory right here. Okay, then over here I'm going to simply uh, go to that directory. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and copy it. And then I'm going to say change directory and paste using my right click. Okay, so now I'm in the folder there, and I can simply say Python and then pacman.py. And okay, I think I need to restart my computer for uh, Python to really uh, be recognized. But assuming that you restart your computer and your path variable setup, you should be able to actually um, run this line of code right there. Um, as well, right, I could do similar things. Maybe I want to run certain test cases. Okay, I could um, could do the same thing, right? I could actually uh, run these test cases, and this is going to run one particular um, case. Okay, again, it's not going to be set up uh, quite yet for me. Uh, once I restart, it, sh it should probably work just fine. Um, but for now, let me actually show you how to do this on the command line. Okay, so let's say I want to create a new run configuration. What I can do is I can uh, click on this play, this little down arrow, click run configurations. Okay, um, and I want to just click, um, now that I've already have this one up, you can see that it's going to run pacman.py. I would just go ahead and copy this one. Okay, so go ahead, click on because you want to make sure that it's set up properly, and this is, right, it has the workspace, and I'm going to start with Pac-Man PY. So let me just click this button right here to copy. So now you can see I have version 1. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this case right here, okay? So the simplest agent is um, the Go West agent, okay? So it has um, these parameters. I'll just copy, um, copy this whole thing for now using Control-C. I'm going to call it Go West agent. Okay, so I'm going to say again the name, go west agent. Okay, now I just, the only thing that I'm going to do differently once I've changed the name, okay, is I'm going to click on arguments and I'm just going to paste in all that stuff. The only thing I don't want to run is Python and pacman py. Everything else in there I want to run. Okay, so I'm just going to basically have the parameters in my program arguments. Click apply. Click run, and then you'll see that that specific test case will run. Okay, um, so you can do something similar in um, with all the other problems uh, that you're going to test. If you go down to problems one, two, three, four, you'll see it'll it'll basically have you run certain test cases. So here I want to run the big maze, so I can do something like this. This is for uh, problem one find you know fixed food dot using depth first search okay so maybe this is depth first I'll start with the smallest one okay so I'll say depth first tiny maze okay so let me make a new run case and this is the easiest way to kind of keep all your test cases organized I'll just click run configurations go ahead and copy one of these and I'll call this DFS 
tiny maze. Okay, then I can click on arguments and just change my arguments this way. Okay, and this is the, the easiest way to run the code. You'll see that it says method not implemented uh, because I actually haven't um, implemented any code yet because I just downloaded it from the website. But once you start writing code, this will actually bring up, um, this will actually bring up <clears throat> your I would bring up a Pac-Man game and show your Pac-Man solving it. Okay. Um, lastly, okay, so the file you'll be editing in this first project will be search.py. Okay, so if you just open up search.py, you'll see essentially um, all these different uh, pieces of code and specifically you go down to the bottom, depth first search, search the deepest nodes. It'll, this is basically your code here um, is where <clears throat> This is where that uh, you will start. Okay, so if I actually comment this out, okay, or I could have just done hashtag, right? And then if I try to run this test case again, you'll see that it actually did kind of load something up very briefly. You, you saw that um, something did come up, but it gives me errors again because I'm basically not doing anything, so it's running into some errors. Okay, but as soon as you uh, insert some code in there, um, you'll actually <clears throat> you'll actually get some valid answers in there. Okay, so uh, finally, um, <clears throat> if you want to look at this bash Pac-Man project that, that we downloaded, um, these will basically have all the different commands in there that you want to for sure test to make sure your program is working properly. So again, this is a bash script. You can run this from Mac or if you figure out, um, you can probably run something like this from Windows as well. Um, <clears throat> you just need to set it up appropriately, but you can always create your test cases one by one um, using uh, basically these parameters at the end of each of these lines. Uh, you can also run these using the command problem if you want by just opening it up like we kind of tried to do here. All right, uh, I, th I, I think that should be enough to, to kind of get you started. Um, yeah, good luck.